building building coasters can definitely get pretty difficult. Um, uh, let's fix this food issue. Come on. Let's see. Food often. They obviously don't have enough food. Yes. So as I was saying, building coasters can be fairly difficult. Uh, there's a there's a lot of physics in it. You don't have to know physics to be able to do it at all, but it's it's a lot of trial and error. It, do, it certainly does not work like actual park designers make roller coasters. They they actually have to know physics in order to make a ride that's rideable. But as far as this goes, because you can delete and edit parks and rides as they go. You don't have to know any physics. You just have to be able to be patient. Patience definitely is key when it comes to stuff like this. So patience and then maybe a little bit of understanding of physics. I mean, you have to understand that, that there's friction on the ride and that each subsequent hill has to be lower than the previous one. And um, is that connected? I think so. So you have to know that. And that, that's something that is intuitively in our minds. We understand that as, as humans, I guess. As, well, I mean, you got, I guess you'd need some education, but you guys get the point. You understand. So, so this is, is it's a fun game. It's not as difficult as it seems. Let's see, excitement rating 5.91, intensity rating 6.45. So that's that's kind of high for an intensity rating. Basically, excitement rating is what you want to be the highest. Oh, I failed to complete the challenge. Okay, don't care. Excitement rating, you want to have that the highest because that represents how how much people want to ride the ride. Intensity rating is how intense it is. So that's like how how vomit inducing the ride is. And well, not really, because the nausea rating is. But the intensity rating is kind of like how jerky it is, how fast it is, how like when you think about if a person likes roller coasters or not, some roller coasters may be too intense for them. So that's what the intensity rating represents. Then the nausea rating just means how likely people are going to throw up. So let's add another train. I think we can we can add. Uh, let's see. Let's do block sections. Block section. This will allow us to add three coasters. So there we go. And then we'll open it up. And people will hopefully come ride it. Why are they still hungry? Okay, let's check our finances. And we have, what am I looking at? Oh, park value, 76,000. That did not increase at all, did it? No, not good. Hopefully once people start writing it, the park value will go up. What are people writing? They, holy crap, they love themselves some motion simulator. We can build more rides out here now since we have have this little area right here. We have this area next to a path so we can easily build some stuff here that will increase the value. Don't have too much money, but this should be enough to do something fairly simple. Maybe not a junior ride. A gentle ride would be good. Let's do like a something robotic. Space arcade. Here we go. People will want that. We'll do entrance here, exit here, entrance, you know, wrap around over here, and there we go. We can open this up. 
so that really only took about 500 or so dollars very cheap so if you if you want to make your own park in real life that's right only 500 dollars can get you a whole space arcade oh cool we got a levitating sign i guess you know <laughs> never seen that that matches the theme i guess and uh let's see we have six hundred dollars now we could probably build another thing double swinging inverter those are very popular why is why is it not oh the there's a rock there Um, let's see, we will, do this, oh, these are on, I don't have enough funds, no, okay, let's fast forward. Get some profit. But we're going to need to terraform a little bit. No, we can probably just do the diagonal. Or not the diagonal, the edge. Man. Oh, shoot, no, this isn't going to work. We're gonna, we're gonna want to do. We're gonna want to build, or to terraform this little section right here. Which involves this, this, and this, and this. That should be good. That should help. Oh, that's not low enough. We'll, we're gonna do it by levels, so this tool right here should. There we go. That should that should definitely be enough relief for us. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Almost. No, it's not perfect. <laughs> Terraforming is not fun at all in this game. That's the one thing I don't like too much. We can build into this section, kind of zigzag around it. Like this. Oh god. Um. Crap. Oh jeez. Okay, let's do this. Let's change the entrance or change the exit. It's over here. This would have been much easier in the first place, for sure. There we go. And then we'll kind of zigzag this around. Boom. There we go. Open this up. And we should be good to go. 